Hello and welcome to Rebirth Ministries. Today we're going to be speaking about hope, what the Bible tells us about hope in contrast to what the world will tell us about hope. The world tells us that hope is quite wishy-washy, it's out there, we can never really attain it but you know we just keep pushing forward and hopefully one day we attain the hope that we're looking for. But it's not what the Bible tells us. And so today I'm going to be reading from the Passion Translation, Hebrews 6 verse 18 and 19 so it tells us in verse 18 so it's impossible for God to lie for we know that his promise and his vow will never change and now we have run into his heart to hide ourselves in his faithfulness this is where we find his strength and comfort for he empowers us to seize what has already been attained ahead of time an unshakable hope. We have this certain hope like a strong, unbreakable anchor holding our souls to God Himself. Our anchor of hope is fastened to the mercy seat which sits in the heavenly realm behind this sacred threshold. And where Jesus, our forerunner, has gone before us, He is now and forever our royal priest like Melchizedek. So, I mean, the contrast between the two is just, is just a world apart. God tells us that he never lies. We can take that, we can stand on it, and we can build our foundation on that. He also says, and if you don't believe me, I'm going to actually back it up with a vow so that you understand that what I'm saying is eternal. You can build your foundation on it, and it never changes. He tells us that in a time of, of weakness, we can run into his faithfulness where we find strength and we find comfort in the truth that he never lies and never forsakes us. He says, and this promise and this truth is actually eternal and it's been established ahead of time. So it's not something that we're, we're trying to catch up with. It was actually put in place before we arrived, before we started hoping. His hope was in place for us to attain and grab a hold of. And in verse 19, it tells us, that it's like having um, a chain that goes from our mind and it fastens onto his mercy seat behind the veil where Jesus went. And now he sat down on God's mercy seat and that chain, like an anchor, holds onto that and never lets go. It doesn't matter if your circumstances go right or left or up or down. This anchor is fastened on to God's mercy seat and will never, ever uh, release. We continue to walk in faith and we continue to believe. And as we do that, our faith starts to draw the promise of the hope that he's speaking about right now in this verse into the reality. So as we continue to hope, we continue to stand on his word and we continue to believe. Our faith draws the hope and the promises into the reality. Now this is good news for somebody out there today. It doesn't matter if it's financial. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's uh, sickness or disease or relational or emotional. God just says you continue to hope and continue to stand on my word because I can never lie and I will never break that promise. And as we do that today, we will see maybe a week, maybe two weeks. I don't know how long you've had this issue for, but I know for one, one thing that God never lies and his promises are always yes and amen. So as you continue to believe, your faith will then start to draw the promise or the result that you're looking for into the natural. So hope is not like the world, it's not wishy-washy, but it's steadfast, you can guarantee it, and it has been established before the foundation of the world, that as believers we can stand on our promises, and by faith we can then draw that promise from behind the threshold where Jesus is sitting on the mercy seat into our reality and into our lives, into our bodies today. So I just want to pray for you right now and just believe that what you're believing for, we can stand together and we will see the results that God speaks about. So Father God, I just thank you today that your hope is real, that your word is true, Father God, and your foundation is solid, Father. Your hope, Father God, was established from the foundation of the world and will never let us down. So I just pray, Father God, as we just continue to use our faith, Father God, that was given to us by Jesus, Father God, to believe in your promises, that we will see the results that you promised we would see. We thank you, Lord, and we give you all of the glory in the name of Jesus. 
Amen and amen. So if you would like prayer, please go to our website, rebootministries.org.uk. There's um, a page there you can just sign on to and just put your prayer request there. If you have any other needs, if you want some more information, we will get back to you as soon as possible. So I'll leave your message there and we will be happy to get back to you. So I just want to thank you today for listening and I hope it's really helped you. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.